Yeah, no disrespect. No disrespect. Yeah. I love all my supporters and I even the haters and that. But you can only phone me up and tell me how you're planning to get rich and or retire early. So go ahead. Okay. Okay. So um last time when we spoke, I think my investments were what, 65k from 100 k down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what what did you recommend, Jay? I can't remember what the, I can't I can't remember. You, you recommended it? obviously you recommended I sell and um buy some property in it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, bro, I held on to them, and now I'm at 110k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, so, what, so, what are you planning on doing with the rest of the money? Um, not taking it out yet. I'm gonna hold on a bit more because um, I've checked the charts and I'm, I'm confident. Um, anyway, are you, sh- are you sure though? Bro. If I was you, yeah, I'll quit your head. Um, not trying bro, to say. you would have thought that. But you would have thought that at 75k, then 85k, then 95k. Just do you know what I mean? I know it's yeah. a gambler's mentality, but I look at charts in it, which is why I held on for so long in it anyway. So, yeah. but what happened last time though? So last time it was an unprecedented event, which which often occurs in um trading. So um there was a guy named Sam Bankman Fried. I don't want to get into too much detail because I might bore you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yes, yeah, anyway, I I've got this um, record in it, which obviously meant that I can't continue in my career in a certain industry. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I'm I'm doing this course that I told you about. Obviously, I don't want to get say what it is. You already know. Yeah. And yeah. um, and um, I'm going to utilize that and um, learn an additional thing alongside it, which is um, not similar, but it'll be beneficial. And then I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to get an employment getting employment as soon as possible after the course and um, split my deposit across I'm planning what four properties is what I'll be able to do yeah 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 um, what, 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 and, what kind of area do you think you're going to invest in so probably Liverpool um, yeah you know where I'm from and I don't want to say yeah thing. yeah yeah but Liverpool is what I'm looking at um, yeah I think it'll be worth investing down there because it's um they're still cheaper down there compared to where I live. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you yeah, tell me man, what I'm... you would do. I need, I need the, I need the um, four property guys' advice. However many you've got. Sorry, I forgot. But that what you've done is impressive to to say the least. So, could you give me so, some advice, so, please? Yeah. So at the moment, obviously, I've got four properties. I've got three rentals and one house that I live in. But I'm in the process of buying another house. I'm going to change this to a buy to let. So this is going to be a rental property. Yeah. Yeah. So in order for me to retire comfortably, I would say I'd probably need 10 property, 10 rental properties. So one house and then 10 properties that are being rented out and that, which would yeah. be turning over in this area, a thousand pounds each. I mean, it's comfortable to say even, oh, he's disappeared. He's gone. But yeah, let's say yeah, I had 10 rental properties and that, and they're all turning over a thousand pounds a month. Not profit it doesn't necessarily have to be profit, but even though, like, even though it's not profit, you still got money circulating through your accounts, and that that's enough money for me to say, yeah, boom, that's a nice round figure for me to retire off of. 